na oleta zawe seneta esta okenyuli anyeni uh, thank you mr speaker first i would love to congratulate you uh, i was sworn in yesterday so i take this opportunity to congratulate you as i stand uh, uh, this time in this house i would love to introduce myself I was born in a small village in Kenyanya, Bumachoge Boravu, later attended the Kenya High School, then served as a student leader in Masai Mara University, then joined the office of the deputy president as a assistant director of research in the strategy and delivery unit. Uh, now I'm a nominated senator through the United Democratic Alliance Party. Uh, serving the people of Kisi, the people of Kenya, and the women at large, and the young people. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, as, as I stand here, I represent and mirror many young Kenyans, women of this country, who look up to us to provide hope and direction. Allow me, therefore, Mr. Speaker, to start by appreciating those who've made it possible for me to be here. First, I want to thank His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, who is also my party leader, for seeing it fit to nominate a girl like me from a location whose coordinates would rarely locate. I'm a true example of the bottom-up philosophy. I also want to thank the people of Kisi for the support they gave the President and particularly the women through the Women for Ruto movement that I founded. Um, I cannot forget the emotional and overwhelming support I received from the young people on social media platforms, that's Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter. And this shows uh, social media is such a strong tool when used effectively, and young people can use these platforms to, us, to propel themselves into leadership without expecting tokens. And finally, I want to thank the people of my home village in Kenya and my family for allowing me to charter my, to charter my political career in this turbulent political space. And surely I promise to make a difference in this space. I would also love to encourage young people who are watching me today that patience, consistency, resilience, loyalty, and hard work do pay. Mr. Speaker, now let me turn to the motion of the day, because in essence, that's why I'm here. I support the nomination of the in uh, Inspector General of Police, Engineer Koome. I do not have much uh, information about him, but I've read uh, from the vetting process and I believe he's the right man for the job. Uh, maybe my urge would be in Kisi where I come from, the community policing guys we have down there, have now turned to harass ordinary people and we, we have been looking at them as people who should work with the police and Mwanainchi to restore peace wherever we are staying. And I think the Honorable Senators here uh, heard of a case where a high school principal was attacked by people uh, and nothing was said about that. But when you dig deep into it, these community policing guys were somehow involved. So I would love to challenge the incoming Inspector General of Police to look at that issue so that the people who we are engaging at the community should be people who are of sound mind and who are ready to work with ordinary citizens. And also in, uh, in challenging him also to offer uh, institutions that will offer counseling services to our police so that we do not witness the, the killings we are seeing within the policemen and their families and their workmates at work. So, Mr. Speaker, with those few remarks, I support the nomination of I uh, Inspector General Kaome. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Esther. Well spoken.
that was your maiden speech, uh, actually you have challenged the veterans, such as uh, Senator Wambua, Senator 